Just 10 minutes from Canada's busiest highway sits this serene lake, which holds the secrets of human history. It's a, an incredible sight. Tim Patterson and his team of geologists have spent years studying Crawford Lake, created 13,000 years ago by a collapsed cave. The little lake is incredibly deep, reaching down 24 meters. The bottom is so well protected that it's become like a time capsule, absorbing thousands of years of history. When the geologists retrieved samples of sediment from the lake floor, they found its layers were like the rings of a tree each line offering clues to its age. These layers, for example, formed during a terrible drought in 1935. But by around 1950, the chemistry of the lake began to change. When essentially there was enormous economic development as the world recovered from World War II. Radioactive plutonium was found in the mud, thought to be from nuclear weapons tests thousands of kilometers away. The sediment showed effects from acid rain and fossil fuels, and some microbe species began to disappear. And now we've changed the character of the system so much that we're actually leaving a geologic record of human activity. Crawford Lake is unique. No other body of water on Earth is known to contain this combination of attributes. And this little lake has now caught the world's attention. The Anthropocene thesis and... This international panel of scientists announced Crawford Lake had been chosen to mark the start of a new chapter in Earth's history, known as the Anthropocene, or the Age of Humans. Human beings as a species are becoming the greatest force of nature. This renowned Canadian photographer produced a documentary on the Anthropocene, the world-altering event that some scientists consider comparable to the extinction of the dinosaurs. And today we're having a slower motion um, uh, extinction event, but we are now the equivalent of a meteor impact. Scientists are still debating whether Anthropocene should be considered an official epoch, and samples from Crawford Lake will be used as evidence. It is the first step towards the potential ratification of Anthropocene as a geological epoch. And Crawford Lake also offers hope. In recent decades, as the world reduced nuclear weapons testing, acid rain, and coal-powered production, something incredible happened. The lake began to heal. Jeff Semple, Global News, Milton, Ontario. Declaring a new chapter in geologic time is not done lightly. Here's a little bit of background. Geological epochs are long periods of time, typically around two million years, separated by major changes to the planet, such as the massive exploding meteor that ended the late Cretaceous period and wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Since then, kind of like a calendar, scientists have classified seven geologic epochs on Earth, the most recent being the Holocene, which started at the end of the last ice age, 11,700 700 years ago. The Anthropocene, anthropo meaning human, would be the latest. About 20 years ago, a Nobel Prize winning chemist, Paul Crutzen, popularized the idea that science should recognize the huge impact that humans have on Earth, from species extinction to biodiversity loss and climate change, and search for the so-called golden spike of evidence of this new epoch. 12 sites were identified, studied and debated, and now Little Crawford Lake in Ontario has been chosen as the golden spike, the ideal marker showing where one epoch ends and another begins.